Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. Happy January. I hope you guys had a beautiful holiday season. And I say season because Christmas is like overwhelming but so much fun. In this video, I am going to reveal to you Ofra's new perfect coverage concealer collection. Yes, the entire collection. A huge thank you to Ofra for sponsoring today's video. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this concealer launch. They sent all 14 shades my way. Yes, all 14. I only have four on each hand because there's so many for me to like actually hold on to, but they sent them so that I can swatch them, show you what the shades look like and play around with the product. I wanna show you guys the packaging. So you are gonna get the clear with the white, which I find to be simple but chic. And it has Ofra's logo at the top, then at the bottom you're gonna get your shade name. But of course, she is a twist up. Here is your applicator. It's not your typical doe foot applicator. This one actually has a slant to it. So the applicator is not chunky, but it's definitely different. It has a curve. We are gonna start off by swatching each and every one of them on my skin and providing you with the details on the formula. This is Ofra Cosmetics' new Perfect Coverage Concealer Collection. The concealer is available in 14 shades. It is said to provide a full coverage with a natural finish. The concealer retails for $22 each and it is available as of today. This formula offers a long lasting wear with a super blendable and hydrating coverage with or without setting. It will brighten your under eyes, help sculpt your skin, cover blemishes and dark spots with no caking. All right, so we've got the swatches on the face. I'm trying to narrow down what shades are gonna work for everything that I'm gonna do, cause I want to contour. I wanna cut my brows out. You know how I clean my brows. I wanna use one of these for that. I want to conceal and brighten the under eye, but I need to make sure I pick the right shades. What's crazy is they have so many shades available that it's kind of like, I have a few that I already like. So, to conceal the under eye, I wanna go with this one, and that is gonna be medium golden. To sculpt in bronze, I think I wanna use two shades, and I feel like it's gonna be this one here. That's tan walnut, but then I'm gonna deepen it with this one, and that is deep cocoa. And then I think the shade that I wanna use to sculpt my brows will be this shade here, and that is medium honey. Believe it or not, these are my very first swatches. I'm very impressed on how fair they went, but also how deep. There's a variation of neutral and warm tones, which is wonderful. And the one swipe provided great coverage. I was impressed with this one because that's where I see it drastically the most because of the contrast between the concealer shade and my skin. But these one swipe swatches provide really beautiful coverage. I cannot see my skin at all. It hasn't fully dried down yet, so that's a good thing. It tells me that I'll have time to play around and work the product onto my skin without feeling like I'm rushed. That's a beautiful thing, because I cannot stand it when a product dries down really, really fast, because it makes it so much harder for me to blend. I got a little closer for you guys. I want you guys to get a better visual on what the swatch looks like when it's on your skin, so that you can see the type of coverage that you're looking to get, and you can totally build it if you want to. Here is the other side. There's just something about how they look, just the gradients. I'm obsessed with like color gradients, but here we have the tan and deeper tones. And as you can see, the formula is 100% uniform, which makes me really happy. You guys know how I wing every single video. Like I know what I'm gonna use, but I don't know what I'm gonna put together and how it's gonna turn out, but I have a vision. I just come up with an idea. We're gonna skip on foundation 100%. I was gonna use my Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation. You guys know I love her, but I kind of want to see, this is full coverage. I kind of want to see what my skin would look like with just concealer all over it. So I am gonna start off the eye with Sunday Riley's Auto Correct. It is a new product for me. I've really been enjoying it. It is the Brightening and the puffing eye contour cream. And no, this is of course not an Ofra product. However, I always apply my skincare product and under eye cream, let it sit for a second, 
prior to filming. So I'm gonna do that now. I wanna give these concealers a really good try. So I'm literally doing with these concealers the same thing that I would do on a day-to-day -day filming sesh. Or even like for me at home when I'm just doing basic makeup, I always put an under eye cream because mija, I have like these little bobitos here. Like I don't, it's weird. But I can't say that I've been lacking sleep in the past few weeks. So I don't know why they're there. Maybe age is catching up with me, but that's okay. Because that's where these concealers come into play. That coverage looks beautiful. So I, I feel like it's going to do the most. Let's start this jam up. I like that it has one of these little applicators. Because it allows me to apply the product specifically where I want it. And then I can do one of these here very lightly. And a little bit here. And then I'm only going to drag one line up here and no i have not gone back into the container all of this was just the one in and out so that's really awesome because i got more than enough and a lot of you guys were shocked that ofra has brush sets i didn't know their brushes were this good i admit it but i've already tried a few and they're really they're, they're beyond good i'm gonna use an ofra pro 3. i'm gonna take that and I'm going to start to blend this concealer. As you see, it's been sitting on my brows, yet it's still blending. And I'm able to move it around. So it didn't dry down, like I said, which is awesome. Here we go. We're gonna up here. All I'm trying to do is clean out my brow because we are due for a brow trimming and removal. But because of the holidays, I haven't had all this time in the world to do that. So I need to make sure I conceal and sculpt these brows because they're getting bushy, girl. All right, so far so good. I never set the brow product that I typically use, so I wanna kind of feel to see if this is gonna stay tacky or not, because apparently you don't really have to set it, although I tend to set my under eye concealers anyway. But I just kind of wanna see what this is going to feel like, because remember, we're gonna apply some of this product on the cheeks and everything, so I just, I wanna know if it's gonna move or not. I don't think they will, because they're advertising it's gonna stay put. So let's move on. And again, look at that, I never went back into the packaging. Apply some on the center of the brows, bridge of the nose. I'm gonna pop some here, why not? And on the chin. With an Ofra Pro 25, I am going to blend the bridge of my nose. And then on the center of my brows. Hit the sides of my nose, which I noticed, girl, I noticed. Um, I have little veins that are showing. I don't, is it a hormonal thing? like right here on the side of my nostril, which I found weird. I thought maybe I scratched myself a little too hard, but no, I did not. Gonna blend here. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'll just kind of go here, just to brighten this area up a little bit. And from the under eye, I am gonna go in with a sponge because I need to, wow, this is, do you see the coverage on this? You guys. Maybe half a swipe would have been enough. That's a, <gasps> wow, okay. And I don't get impressed easily, but um, <laughs> this concealer, I didn't even apply all that much. Well, for me, that's not a lot. Like I know some people will just do one dot here, one dot here and call it a day. We might have to do that going forward with this concealer because the coverage is insane. And I feel like you can totally skip on color correcting. So if you're someone that has like the browns and the purples under your eyes, this is gonna give you amazing coverage and it's gonna be effortless. Okay, we're gonna blend the other side. I know, you're probably thinking, girl, you are way too bright. But this is the thing, I always go extra bright under the eyes. That's just who I am. I'm not gonna set it yet, because I wanna see what this is gonna look like once it all comes together. And they say you don't have to set it, but I tend to set anyways. To balance the rest of my skin out, I'm gonna use these two shades. I'm gonna grab deep cocoa, and I'm gonna apply deep cocoa along the perimeter. Let's see how far we can go without me having to dip back into the container. With the one dip, I was able to do the entire perimeter and my chin, which is wonderful. Now I'm gonna take a tan walnut and I am gonna go in between those. Dip here, in between those. A little bit down here. I'm just gonna, gonna whatever's left, splatter it around, why not? I know you guys are thinking I'm crazy, but I'm not, I promise. I'm gonna grab a brush and I'm gonna blend these together, just kind of like the dee 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 dee. And when you're working with creams, by the way, and it's not the Ofra product, it's just in general, you tend to look a little crazy, which is fine, cause all you're doing is blending the product in place and then you wanna like blend everything together. So it, it's like one of those things where you have to kind of trust the process, but you'll be fine, I promise. So you blend, blend, blend. And then you're gonna grab a sponge or, and I'm gonna grab a sponge and then I'm gonna blend from the inside out. All right, you guys, I think, I think we're pretty much set. That looks really good though. No, doesn't that look good? I mean, I still need some eye makeup, I know, but 
it really looks like I went 100% full coverage and I didn't really apply too much product on my skin. It was just dotting it around, which is wonderful and easy to play around with. Okay, so I am gonna set it on camera because I wanna show you guys, I am going to use the Ofra Banana Powder. The under eye, I'm looking at it, it's not creasing, so it's not necessary. But you guys know that I like for my under eyes to be matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set this fairly quickly, but I'm not setting anything else because honestly, it doesn't even feel sticky. It, it, feels, it feels like I applied foundation and called it a day. Like it feels so lightweight. So we will only set the under eye. I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna do my eye makeup because that has nothing to do with these concealers. And then I'll be right back. I am back with the rest of my makeup done, the rest being just the eyes, and I added a lippy. If you're wondering what lippy I applied, it's right in front of me, I think I ate it. Give me a second. The lippy I used is the Ofra Flexi Slick in the shade Fuzzy. It's slightly peachy, but still nude enough. And I love this to pair it with like an eye like this. So it just made sense to use her super hydrating, like very, very long wear, and beautiful, just opaque formula. Also, if you're curious on the eye look, the video's already live, go check it out. Everything has come together so beautifully, guys, this formula. I let it sit, it's not tacky. It almost feels like a powders on my skin. I did not set anything, no powders on my face. I only applied powder under the eyes. And the coverage is, is there. It's freaking there, it's beautiful. It blended flawlessly. It doesn't look heavy. There's no caking. My skin feels and looks hydrated. I have zero highlighter. The only shimmers I have on my face is on my eyes. And you guys know when I apply shimmers on the eyes, I avoid highlighter. You guys, it just looks so healthy. I'm obsessed. But I want to hear what you guys think. Make sure you comment down below. Do not forget that the collection has already launched. It is available as of today. You can definitely go snag it. I am going to have the link to the website as well as my discount code available for you guys in the description box down below. Be ready because you guys are going to see these concealers in a lot of upcoming videos. I once again want to thank Ofra for sponsoring today's video, supporting my little channel here on the YouTube and our family, the Yadi G Squad. Please don't forget to hit the like button for me. It tells YouTube you're enjoying the content and in turn, they recommend my channel to more people, which helps with the growth of my channel. So I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.